ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ ಶಾರದ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ರಾಮಾಯ ರಾಮಭದ್ರಾಯ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ವೇಧಸೆ ರಘುನಾಥಾಯ ನಾಥಾಯ ಸೀತಾಯ ಕತೆಗೇ ನಮಃ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆನ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಟು ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸುಂದರಕಾಂಡ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಸಾ ಹನುಮಾನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಫಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಟಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೆನಿ ಡೆಮನ್ಸ್ ಕಿಲಿಂಗ್ ಜಂಬುಮಾಲಿ ದ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಕಮಾಂಡರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರಾವಣಾಸ್ ಆರ್ಮಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಅಕ್ಷ ಕುಮಾರ ದ ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾವಣ ಫೈನಲಿ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಇಂದ್ರಜಿತು ಅನದರ್ ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾವಣ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಬೈ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹನುಮಾನ್ ಹೂ ಗೇವ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಸ್ತ್ರ ದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಸ್ ವೆಪನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಫೈಟ್ ಬೈ ದ ವೆಮನ್ಸ್ ಡೆಲಿಬರೇಟ್ಲಿ ವಿತ್ ಅನ್ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಟು ಸಿ ರಾವಣ ಇನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಚೇಂಬರ್ and then hanuman addressed ravana with these words seeing the mighty ten headed ravana that intrepid monkey addressed him fiercely in order fraught with penetration saying i have come here at the command of sugriva o lord of titans as a brother sovereign of monkeys offer salutations to you this is how exactly usually one king addresses or the messenger of one king addresses an another king as though they both are brothers assuming that other king will go in to receive the words and if it do not then they will enter into a battle as a brother the sovereign of monkeys offers salutations to you here the counsel of a brother the magnanimous sugriva his words are in accord with justice advantageous and salutary both in this world and hereafter king dasharatha the master of chariots elephants and horses in splendor equal to indra was the friend of all and like unto a father to his subjects his eldest son mighty armed the darling of his father at his command entered the dandaka forest with his brother lakshmana and his consort sita his name is rama and he is exceedingly valiant and ever abides in the path of virtue his faithful consort sita the illustrious daughter of the high souled janaka king of videha vanished in the forest of janasthana he is not directly addressing ravana that you objected her but instead he simply says that she vanished in the forest seeking for that princess the king's son with his younger brother came to rishyamoka and met with sugriva king of the monkeys promised to undertake the search for sita and rama agreed to aid him in recovering the monkey kingdom thereupon slaying wali in combat the king's son established sugriva on the throne as lord of all the bears and monkeys ravana had briefly had developed friendship with wali so he know the might of wali and if Ma- wali was killed by rama that clearly shows his capabilities wali a bull among monkeys formerly known to you was slain by rama with a single arrow in the fight whereupon the lord of the monkeys sugriva true to his vow eager to find sita dispatched monkeys in all directions hundreds thousands and millions of monkeys are exploring every region high and low even up to the heavens and some resemble vainateya and some the wind and those highly energetic monkeys course here and there without rest incapable of being slay stay stayed i am named hanuman the beloved son of maruta and in order to find sita i have crossed 400 miles of sea having passed over the ocean wandering through your palace i observed janaka's daughter it is not it does not become you who are conversant with what is good and proper and has enriched yourself by your penances to bear away another's wife o eminently sagacious one intelligent beings 
such as you should not commit acts prohibited by the law of righteousness which lead to ruin who even who even among the gods and titans can withstand the shafts loosed by lakshmana and those of raghava in his wrath slowly the tone of hanuman's speech is turning from being a mild messenger of sugriva to a real messenger of rama who is giving a threat to ravana nay in the three worlds there is none who may affront rama with impunity following the path of duty and profit do yourself ponder these words fraught with advantage to you in three divisions of time and restore janaki to rama that lion among men i have seen sita and achieved that which was difficult to compass as for that remains to be done rama himself shall accomplish it i have beheld her in your abode suffering grievously though you are seemingly unaware that you harbor a five headed serpent in your mansion the threat is threat is becoming much more stronger now even as food mixed with poison may not be digested even by gods or titans so is she it is not worthy of you to bring to nothing but merit acquired by extreme mortification as so as also a long and prosperous life you deem yourself by your penances to have one immunity from death even from gods immortals or titans but remember sugriva is neither a god nor an immortal nor a titan raghava o king he is a mortal and sugriva the lord of monkeys therefore how will you preserve your life ravana has a boon that he will he is invincible to the gods immortals titans gandharvas and others whereas he do not have any protection of the boon for invincibility from the human beings and the monkeys the fruits of virtue do not blend with those of vice nor does equity destroy iniquity remember if someone commits a sin its sin cannot be erased by the virtue because the the, uh, the sufferings are the fruits of virtue and fruits of the sin are completely different one cannot be erased by the other till today you have plucked the fruit of your merits because of that reason ravana has become so rich and luxurious a more powerful king but soon you will reap the fruit of your evil deeds having learnt of the destruction of janasthana the death of wali and the alliance of rama and sugriva ponder on these things to your own advantage i am undoubtedly able to destroy lanka with its horses chariots and elephants single handed it is true because he had already destroyed part of lanka and part of the lankan army too lanka with its horses chariots and elephants single handed yet i have not received the mandate to do so because rama had not permitted him to do so in the presence of the troops of monkeys and bears rama vowed to slay his enemies those who bore sita away assuredly in doing injury to rama even indra himself could not dwell in peace now much less one like you this sita who is known to you and who stays in your abode is the night the night of death that will bring about you and to the a bring bring about your end and that of lanka beware of placing your neck in the noose of death in the form of sita consider yourself consider how you may save yourself you shall behold this marvelous city with its palaces and highways consumed by sita's power with the flames fed by rama's wrath do not therefore abandon friends ministers kinsfolk brothers sons servants wives and lanka to this fate o indra among titans 
follow this good counsel since it is offered to you by one who is a monkey, the servant and messenger of Rama. Having wholly annihilated the worlds and their inhabitants with all that moves or that does not move, the illustrious Raghava could recreate them all. Among the chiefs of the gods, Titans, Yakshas, Dhanavas, Nagas, Vidyadharas, Gandharvas, wild beasts, Siddhas, Kindaras, and birds, in no way nor anywhere at no time among any beings has any been found who could stand against Rama, those whose valor is equal to Vishnu's. Since you have offered that lion among kings, Rama, this affront, your life is forfeit. Devas, Daityas, Gandharvas, Vidyadharas, Nagas and Ekshas are, unab are all unable to hold their own in combat with Rama, protector of the three worlds. O king of the titans, even were it the four-headed Brahma, Swayambhu himself, or the three-eyed Rudra, the destroyer of Tripura, or the mighty Indra, the chief of gods, not one of them could withstand Raghava in the field, so none of them will be able to protect you. Hearing this distasteful, yet excellent speech of that bold and fearless monkey, the ten-necked one, this Dashagriva Ravana, his eyes rolling in anger, ordered him to be put to death. Thus come to the end, chapter 51 of Sundarakanda in Ramayana. Namaste Sharada Devi, Kashmira Puramasini, Tvamaham Prathaye Nityam, Vidya Dhananchadehime. Bye.